Hey, what is up guys, it's Mystic here and welcome back to another FIFA 17 squad builder. Now today, we've got a 250k squad. Um, it's still fairly affordable, especially at this stage of the game, but it is a little bit cheaper than the other squads that I have put up that cost about 1.8 million and, you know, over a million. So it is still an affordable squad for you guys. Now, in this squad, we do have a fair amount of, you know, special cards, as you can see on the screen. Uh, the team's not quite been revealed yet, but you can see there are some special cards. You know, some blue team of the tournament cards and some informs. And there is also a red card, but what you can do with that red card is just swap it out for the player that I've put in. And I have included that in the price, so it technically doesn't bring up the price any more than what it would cost you, or cost me, if I was to buy the team straight up with normal cards. Okay, so we will get on to the actual team, the custom tactics and the playing instructions and all that sort of stuff in a minute. But what I would like to say first is that I am going to do this video slightly differently to the other ones. Um, what I'm going to do is basically just show you the team at the start. And instead of just talking over the whole gameplay, I'm just going to maybe talk for a couple of minutes about literally just the team and then let you guys watch the rest of the gameplay on your own with maybe a bit of music in the background if it doesn't get copyrighted again, which is why I had to remove it on the last video. But despite that, I do hope you guys did enjoy the last video and I hope you guys enjoy this video as well. So now I think we'll move on to the team. You can see it on the screen now. You can see that there are actually some very good players in this team and like I said towards the beginning there are quite a lot of special cards and even the regular cards are actually quite sweaty and OP. The only player that isn't as sweaty and OP as I wanted was the regular Peran and the only reason I didn't change him was because it would have taken us over the price limit and I was actually going to buy his inform card and try that out but like I said I didn't quite have the budget with the other teams that I've still got that I haven't sold on yet. Um, so I have a lot of money invested into one team at the minute, so I didn't really have the coin budget to spend on extra players. But despite that, the team is still very good and I do recommend that you guys try it out. Um, we'll go through the custom tactics now and the player instructions, so you can actually copy those down and use them for yourself and, you know, play exactly the way that I did. Um, I will also say now that when I got into the game I still put it on defensive just because that's how I like to play. I like to play quite a defensive game and then sometimes hit them on the counter attack but I do like to get players back and help with the defending. So that's something that you guys don't really have to do, I just, that's how I play. Okay so moving on to the first and actually only game for this video. Um, the main reason I did that was because FIFA 17 is starting to get a bit stale with it, you know, it's been out for so long now and FIFA 18 is being released very soon so I am excited for that and excited to get some content out for you guys but yeah I only really did one game because it's just starting to get a bit boring really and also other than that the Blaze Matuidi that I had was actually on loan and I only had a certain amount of games I know it was four um, but I just really couldn't be bothered to play the rest of the games to be honest with you However, don't let this put you off because this team isn't, it's not a bad team, that's not the reason I didn't play. Uh, it is actually a very good team, but what I will say is that it didn't really suit my style of play as you might see in the footage. Um, I kind of struggled with the defence. I, I mean, as you've seen in previous videos, I really like to get my midfielders back, but with the two wide midfielders in the standard 4-1-2-1-2 formation, um, they kind of don't really drop back as much, or if they do, then they are kind of helping the full backs more than like the central part of the uh, central part of the field, and I kind of struggled with that a little bit. But having said this, I did find that the wide players were actually very useful going forwards because they do push forwards quite a lot. They, well, yeah, they provide some wide support, and you can you can pretty much get into any position on the pitch when you're moving forwards, and it's quite helpful, especially if you want to cross the ball. These two strikers that we have in the team are actually very good in the air as well. So the wide players really sort of complement them. And as we are on the subject of the strikers, then we may as well start talking about them now. So the strikers, they were very good. Um, they're both quite physical. As you can see, we've got Lacazette in the team and he is known to be one of the most sweaty strikers in the game this year. He's fast, he's good at shooting. He's a decent dribbler and he is actually quite physical as well, so he can win headed balls, he can push players off the ball as well. Um, so Lacazette was very good. Cavani, he was also very good, especially at finishing um, and also in the air, but 
he lacks a little bit of pace for me and this year I think pace is still quite an important factor. Um, so he was very good, don't get me wrong, but I think there's probably better strikers that you could have gone for in the team. So next we'll move on to the central attacking midfielder and as you guys can see, it is Ben Arthur. Now Ben Arthur is actually incredible this year for some reason. He's only 84 rated and he used to be 83, but if you get the upgraded version, it just helps you a little bit more. But for some reason, he just manages to do the right stuff in all the right places and it really helps that he's got um, five star skills because you know you never know when you need to use them. Um, but yeah, he is a very good finisher, very good dribbler, very good passer. He's pretty good at shielding the ball and he's just an all round great player to be honest with you. Okay, so moving backwards now to the central defensive midfield, and we have actually got Blaise Matuidi. Um, we have got the the moustache version, I don't really know what you call them, the Movember cards. So he does actually have a little bit of a boost in the physical stat. Um, but to be honest with you, I didn't really notice it that much because he's, I, I don't know, I wouldn't really say he's much of a physical player. And because he's quite small, he does actually get pushed around and, you know, bullied off the ball a little bit. Um... So that was a bit of a weak point for him, but he was actually a pretty decent player. Um, another thing I found of him was that he did actually get forwards quite a lot, despite me telling him to stay back, which was quite annoying because I really like to have someone back to help you know, defend with. Um, so that was a bit of a downfall for me as well, but in general he was actually still a really good player. Okay, so lastly we're moving back to the defence and the goalkeeper. Uh, the defence in general was actually quite good. Um, they were all quite physical, they were all quite pacey, they're obviously all very good at defending. Um, but like I said, I would quite like the inform pair around just to kind of top it off a little bit and just to, you know, really help with the boost in stats and just to help out the defence. Um, because you could tell he wasn't quite the standard that I was looking for. But the defence in general was actually very good. And for the goalkeeper, Subasic, he he was actually I was quite surprised at him actually, he did quite well, um, he made some really good saves, I mean you might not see it in the clip as much, but um, he did actually make some good saves and when I played a couple of warm up games with him he did actually do very well in that as well, um, so Super Six was actually very good and I would probably recommend him, but as always in all of these videos then um, if you have got the extra money then you may as well spend it and you may as well upgrade some players, so if that's somebody that you don't think performs as well or you just don't really like a style and you just kind of want to get rid of them then you know that's up to you and you have got more options available in that position so you know you can kind of do what you want really so guys i hope you enjoyed that video i'm not exactly sure how many more fifa 17 videos i am actually going to make i think i may actually just wait until fifa 18 actually drops so that i can get some new content on the channel because as I said before, FIFA 17 is starting to get a little bit stale and I would like to try something a little bit different, but I will leave you guys the rest of the footage for you to watch if you'd like to. Um, but yeah, until the next video, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.